the first time I heard of Stephen Jordan was I had actually just met him two days ago and she came to visit me in New York. We were walking down the street in Chinatown and somebody calls her cell phone and she had just been telling me about this guy she met and I'm like, okay, how long is this one gonna last? And she answers her cell phone because he happens to call and I'm like, hey, I haven't seen you in a couple months. Why are you answering your cell phone right now to talk to some guy? Well, then Steven's like, let me talk to Kristen. I want to talk to Kristen. We chatted for about 10 minutes. And from that moment, I knew how special he was. Dearest Jordan Lane, who would have thought a brief encounter in an elevator would have led us to where we stand today? That often mundane ride up the elevator that evening turned out to be so much more than conventional. This was the day that God put me in your life and it is the very day he had chosen for us to begin our lives together. It was 523 days ago, my life changed forever because it was the day my very soul found its match. Stephen, when I first saw you, I fell in love and you smiled because you knew. The summer we met and fell in love was completely unexpected. I will never look at an elevator the same. Life with you has always been so natural. And I know it's because the Lord created us for each other at the right time. Our relationship has changed the way I think about marriage and being a team. You show me every day what true love can be and what a relationship should be. I've been waiting for this moment for so many years. And now on November 7, 2015, I'll vow to love and honor you, the one woman who makes me happier than I could have ever imagined the woman who loves me for who I am today and who I am destined to be tomorrow. The woman who will devote her whole life to the happiness and health of our family with unwavering dedication. Today will be absolutely perfect. Even if the harpist falls down while playing or if it starts to rain as you're walking down the aisle or people complain that the food is terrible, no matter what it will be, magical because regardless of all that, you and I will be together at last as husband and wife. Stephen Robert Milankovic, you are my best friend, mentor, confidant, but most importantly, you are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine and more loved than I ever thought possible. You are the strong, handsome, kind-hearted man I dreamed of from the fairy tales mom and dad would bring to me in my bed at night. You are far beyond what I could ever hope for, Stephen, because it's true that when you trust the Lord, He does give you the desires of your heart. And standing here today, I can tell you without any uncertainty that I did, I do, and I will always choose you. Today, I marry you with no hesitation or doubt, and my loyalty will forever be to you. I love you more than yesterday. You are my once-in-a-lifetime love, and today begins our fairy tale that has no end. I must admit that when you asked me that we should write our vows, I briefly panicked. Yet when I sat down and began to write, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop because my heart wouldn't allow me. <laughs> As we stand here before God, I vow to you, Jordan, my belief in you. The person you will grow to be and the couple we will be together. I vow to you my unconditional love, my fullest devotion, and my most tender care. Today I choose you to be my wife. I love you more than yesterday. You are my best friend. You are my beloved. You are my life today and always. I accept you as you are, and I offer you my heart in return. I know that I will always remember your smile. Your smile as he asks, can you bring a friend in Pittsburgh? Your smile on the car on our road trip to Detroit. Your smile when you proposed on that perfect summer night in Pensacola trying to get the box out of your tight jeans. Steven, I will forever remember your smile. And I know that everyone else is smiling too because today we're getting married. Jordan, you are going to be the most beautiful bride the world has ever known. Seeing you for the first time today as you walk down the aisle will be the very best day of my life. I can't wait to see you. Hold your hand in mine 
I give you my whole heart. It will be an honor to make you my wife and begin our future together at last. I love you future, Miss Milinkovic. See you soon, your beloved Stephen. Now having pledged your love and loyalty to each other, I do, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Stephen, you may kiss your bride. Yeah.